Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Not only is it important to memorize all the key biomolecules, substrates, and enzymes involved in the different metabolic pathways, but it's also crucial to understand how the various metabolic pathways fit together. And in the case of this diagram, we have glycolysis, we have parts of the citric acid cycle, we also have fatty acid synthesis represented. It's important to understand how all of these connect together. As you probably know, pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis, which then feeds into the citric acid cycle via the production of acetyl-CoA. But what you may have not known is that citrate is used to shuttle acetyl-CoA from the matrix of the mitochondria to the cytosol. So citrate right here is going to travel through the shuttle system, and then through the reaction with citrate lyase, it's going to result in the production of acetyl-CoA, which can then be used for fatty acid synthesis. Okay, So it's really important to understand how glycolysis connects to the citric acid cycle, which then connects to fatty acid synthesis. Something else that's really important to know is that this reaction right here, the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, is an irreversible reaction. It cannot go backwards. For this reason, glucose can be used to form fatty acids via this pathway along here, but it cannot go backwards. You can't go from fatty acids back into glucose because the pyruvate dehydrogenase mechanism, the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA is not reversible. Let's take a second look at the question stem. Which of the following statements about fatty acid synthesis is correct? Answer choice A, fatty acids can be used to synthesize glucose. That is not true. As we discussed, the pyruvate dehydrogenase mechanism is not reversible. Therefore, fatty acids cannot go back into glucose. But answer choice B is correct because in the forward direction, pyruvate can become acetyl-CoA, which can then be transported into the cytosol via the citrate shuttle, and then that acetyl-CoA can be used for fatty acid synthesis. Therefore, B is the correct answer here. If you struggled with today's MCAT question of the day, I think you'll definitely benefit from my Metabolic Pathways course. It walks you through all of the key metabolic pathways and teaches you the exact substrates, enzymes, and energy substrates that you need to memorize for the MCAT. Not only that, but I think something that you'll really enjoy about it is that I show you how the different pathways link to each other. For instance, in this diagram, I show you how glycolysis relates to the citric acid cycle. And I think that's something you'll really find beneficial to give you a bigger overall picture of how all these individual pathways relate to each other. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.